Hello, this is Lance Cleveland. I'm going to go over some of the multi-site patches and updates that are coming in Store Locator Plus version 4.5.04 or higher. The prior release 4.5.0 through 3 introduced a bug with multi-site having to do with the way blog IDs were switched on a network active multi-site install. And boy, that turned into a deep rabbit hole. So I um, have made some changes to the product to make it more multi-site friendly and one of the things you'll see if you're running multi-site now is if you go to the network admin for the site you'll see a store locator plus entry when store locator plus is active and this is where you can enter your premier subscription ID so you can enter your user ID and subscription ID here you only need to do that if you're running any of the premium add-ons any of the paid add-ons for store locator plus so on this side, I've got various uh, add-ons installed and active, and I have an invalid user ID and subscription ID in here. So what you'll see is if you go to any of the subsite dashboards now, you have a notice that uh, we request that you purchase a premier subscription to license for multi-site installs. Most people are running network active plugins on their multi-site installs are reselling the product, and we have very few uh, repeat licenses for that. So now we're just putting up a message to let you know that uh, you should be purchasing the Premier subscription, which gives you a license for all the paid add-ons for as many installs as you have and subsites as you have running on your multi-site installation. So that's one of the new things you'll notice. Now you can change that setting only via the master site, which is usually the first site on your build. And if you go into the dashboard and you go to the general settings, you'll find that same panel under general admin. You can add your user ID and a subscription ID here. And as long as the subscription is active, currently active, and it validates against the server, then that message will go away. And you will also see another change is on subsites, any of the secondary sites that you have, they will not see those settings. So that means your client sites, your subsites, are not going to be able to go in and change your subscription data uh, possibly setting it to an invalid subscription. The other thing you'll notice is they can no longer change the production status to switch, switch you to pre-release mode or production mode. So that's going to happen automatically for all subsites. Only the master site or the network admin can change those things. So if I go in here and set my subscription to a valid subscription ID here, user ID and subscription ID, and save this. Now when I go to any of my subsites, the notification is gone and everything's there. Now of course if you don't have a subscription your add-ons will still work. They're not going to suddenly stop working. We're just requesting that you purchase those licenses so there's no changes there. Also the product now is more network aware. There's a few places in the system where it knows you're running on a multi-site network and that you have plugins network active which means that the upgrade process has to be handled a little differently. That's what broke in 4503 is the way the settings uh, upgrade process worked and that's been resolved so now when you have network active store locator plus plugins and you upgrade it will actually find any of the settings on any of the subsites that need to be changed and migrate them appropriately that does not happen on every release but it does happen fairly frequently where we change um, some settings or add new settings and those need to be migrated that will happen now in 4504 and higher Again, you should always test these releases on a staging site before putting them into production. And to do that, we have the pre-release out tonight. So you can test this tonight with Store Locator Plus 4504. Any questions, please post in the forums or email support at storelocatorplus.com. As always, thank you for supporting Store Locator Plus.